welcome to another video. It's taken me a long time to research all this and put it together. It's basically a full bushcraft and wild camping kit that I've put together for around 230 quid. Without further ado, let's get into it. The bag, so a lot of research I've done on bags. It's aimed at someone who's never wild camped before or not done any bushcraft before because I get a lot of people reaching out and asking me you know, if I can recommend any kit and it's too hard to get back to everyone, so, so this is it. And I want you to have a comfortable experience for your first time out camping. I don't want you to have to rough it using subpar gear and then not enjoy it and not go back. So this kit is stuff that I would use. It's based around comfort and quality and it's also, it's also very cheap as well for 230 quid, everything you need in here. So let's take a look. It's the four class from Decathlon 50 litre and <laughs> it's, a, it's an amazing bag, amazing bag. A fully adjustable system. The reasoning being is 50 litres I think is enough if you can stick your tent on the outside or, or whatever it may be. But everything you need is in here and there is still plenty of room for clothes, food and water. It has a place on the side for your walking sticks or even stick your ice axe in there. And then on one side it's got these compression straps on each side so you can undo them and make the bag a bit fatter or when you're not when you've got excess space in your bag you can just cinch these up and it's not waving about it has a side pocket perfect you could even dump a you could dump a tarp in there your water bottle whatever it is and then cinch it down on the other side it's got the same but it hasn't got the the pocket it's just expands and then you can you can strap your your sleeping mat or whatever it is to this side and then it's got the side pocket as well at this side. The zipper's pretty hidden there, so you have to look for it. And it doesn't have that at that side. So both sides are different, which is, I like that. Another great feature about this bag is the, the front zip. As you can see, you can just access things at the bottom of your pack without having to go in and, and disrupt everything. It's got these loops at the bottom, so you can add your own ties onto there you, so you can attach your sleeping bag or whatever it be your tent to the bottom and it's which is a feature I like it's self-standing it stands up on its own which is a fantastic thing for me for bags being able to stand up on its own is great something that the Exos 48 do not do you get access to the bottom for your sleeping bag whatever wet clothes your dry bag bungee cord on the top so you can attach more stuff to the top hip pocket into the bag we go. So we've got, this is your knife. You can just Google it, the Mora Companion. This is my Mora Companion. The one that I ordered online isn't here yet. So this is my Mora Companion. Speaks for itself, sturdy bushcraft knife, stainless steel. You can batten with it, you can beat it up and it's cheap as chips. And if I'm honest, you you probably wouldn't even need another knife. We only get other knives as we progress just because they might mean something to us or we want to look a bit flash, but you don't need anything more than a Mora companion. They're excellent knives. There's your knife, your torch. I've gone for this Omeril, which has got it's a basic head torch. Hold down the button and it, uh, it does a, an SOS for you. And that's a battery powered torch your fire steel with a glow in the dark handle on it and this has got a bottle opener on for if you, <laughs> if you need a slurp this has been a bit of a, a gem really there it is look this saw man the mossy oak a fantastic saw fantastic pruning saw perfect for bushcraft it even comes with two two different blades there and a and its own carry case with a buckle on the back a bit of webbing just so you can put it on your belt or on your bag on the outside of your bag and this really is a hidden gem so much cheaper than the silkies or the laplanders fantastic bit of kit that what we got in here then eh right so we just get straight into it mate our shelter the tent 
There it is, look, the Coleman Darwin 2. Now, let's rig that up. We're going to set that up in a second, have a proper look at it. The sleep mat, as I say, I'm going for comfort on this one. Quite a bit of the budget has gone on to the Trekology the ultralight sleeping mat. What else? Crusader cup kit is what I've gone for. My thoughts behind it are, you've got your canteen. So that's your, you can carry your water and your cup. You've got a secondary cup and you've got your little, your little thing there. As a top tip, I would maybe swap this out. And this is what I've done in the past, is I've swapped this out for the Mark II and cook area bit because it's far superior. So it's only going to cost you about nine quid just to swap this out. You put your fuel in here or your stove and that helps you to boil some water or do a little bit of cooking in there. And that is everything for your cook kit. An all-in-one cook kit that doesn't break the bank. This is the Activera Pro 300, Comfort 10, Limit Zero. So it's a pretty much a three season kit, this. You can mess about and put some warmer clothes on, down jackets and whatever. £24.99, so an absolute bargain there. Everything you see here will set you up for a wild camp. You get to camp, you've got the ability to start a fire, so you can do your cooking on there. If you don't want fancy getting a fire going, you can do your cooking on here and then you've got your shelter to keep you warm and that's all you need mate, you don't, you don't need to overcomplicate things it's as simple as that let's put the Coleman up and, and blow up the sleeping mat and have a look at that Done. it's pretty easy to set up it comes with guy lines as well for these bits which you want to obviously attach it has vents on the outside to help with airflow and then when you're not using them tuck that in there and it velcros back down the same on the other side it's to help with airflow <laughs> i'll tell you what the ground feels very sturdy and very robust not, not going to need a footprint so that is super thick material We've got a little, a little bug net area that you can pull down just for added ventilation, which is always a good thing. Now is this little tie off point. Not elasticated, but we'll live. I've got plenty of room. I'm seven foot and built like a brick shit house, and that is plenty of room for me. You've got your little hook at the top for your lantern and whatnot. Pockets at either side. No head pocket, but the material feels really good. It feels a lot sturdier than the nature hike. Oh, room wise, perfect. It's ideal for a one person and all your gear. I think two people and all your gear would be a bit of a stretch because there's not much vestibule room here. There's maybe enough for your shoes. Once it's all closed up, you can maybe put your shoes outside here, but there's not a lot of room at all. Certainly not enough room to be cooking in your vestibule. It feels very sturdy. And for the price, for the price, mate, I'd be happy. Happy to have this. And as I say, this is just for your first time, your first time stuff. You don't want to be, you know, having a bad experience. So I think it's nice to have a bit of room to manoeuvre. And this gives you exactly that. Let's have a look at the map. As far as the budget goes, this takes up quite a lot of it, but my reason being is I don't want you to have an uncomfortable night on your first night, because that'll, that'll put you off. That'll put you off, mate, so... I want you to sleep like a little baby. Here we are, look, let's have it... Beauty. Let's get it blown up and chucked in. Perfect fit. It's got curved edges so it keeps you on the mat whilst you're snoozing. Oh, tell you what. That's comfy, man. I'm not sure about the R rating. 
but that is as comfy as my Xterm. It's not as wide, so your arms might fall off, but if you're not camping in the depths of winter, I don't think that's a problem at all. Fantastic, Matt. And let's have a little look at this sleeping bag, shall we? Feels nice and sturdy. Um, it's not a down, it's synthetic, so it'll be a lot more durable than your down than your down bags. A little hook point there for hanging it up. Velcro pocket in here for your phone, your keys, your condoms, your wallet, your watch, your whatever you want. <laughs> it's comfy, it's comfortable. It's making me miss camping, that's for sure. That feels good, man. I don't want to be spending too much time in here because uh, whoever wins it doesn't want my stench in it, do they? Right, that's brilliant. And it's worth mentioning that I'd like this I'd like this beginner's kit to go to someone who is actually a beginner and is actually starting out on their camping journey. You know, a young lad or lass or someone who's... I don't know, mate. Don't just jump over onto Patreon to try and win it to flog it or make money off it because that ain't the point the point is i've put a lot of time in, in into putting this together for someone who con because i get contacted a lot by people who are just starting out and, uh, and want hints and tips on what to buy and this is for you and so i hope one of you lot wins it so please don't don't enter if it's just for sheds um yeah i'd really like to think i'd really like to think of it going to someone someone who, who will use it for their first wild camping slash bushcrafting kit. That's everything here for your first wild camp for 236 quid. I've done a little graph to show you the weight and the costs of everything. I'll put that on screen now. The reason for this camp setup is so that you enjoy yourself. I want you to enjoy it so that you'll end up doing it again. You could use it up in the hills and you can also use it in the woods as well to do a more bushcrafty style camp. This kit Okay, I'll, I'll do you. The perfect starter kit, in my opinion. Now, it has to be said that you can pick stuff up cheaper, secondhand. You can get ex-military stuff. If you spend the time and you look around, you could probably get some, some, uh, some bargains on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or something like that and, and shop about. But as far as brand new stuff, I don't think you could do much better than this. The stand, for me, the standout things is this saw, I'll be getting a couple of these for work. They're excellent, really good. And the bag, 50 litres. And the way that you can just adjust it on your back is fantastic. Yeah, really comfortable and loads of great features on it. So this is a decathlon, brilliant bag, really good. And that's it, the budget, the budget wild camping kit for beginners. I'll be packaging all this back up into this bag and I'll be giving it away to someone over on my Patreon page, so if you want to go and check that out, you can. But be warned, there's some strong language over on Patreon and adult humour. Oh, someone's revved a chainsaw up. Don't matter, we've, we've, we're committed to it, we're going. <laughs> if you found this video interesting or informative, you could click the like button, it really helps me out and I'd appreciate it. And I hope you're all well, and I'll see you soon. Au revoir.